I mean, color-wise, you can see from the rind how how you know how old they are. So. I mean, through everything, this is Bridget's Abbey, you actually go back to Dutch on the bottom. But so these are brand new. This is, uh, this is we made this last, last Wednesday. So that's, um, you know, less than a week old. And now as, it go, as we go down, so these are a little more than two weeks old. So we're starting to get some olds on there already. A uh, little bit of color, picking up some coroniform bacteria just in the, in the cave itself. Um, again, a little bit, a little bit more well down. Now here we're down to. Uh, so this batch actually is almost two months old. So now we've got uh, we're getting a little more mold on the surface. Um, still some craniform bacteria. That's that's typical of the Bridges Abbey in the winter. Less so in the summer when the it's a little bit drier in here. Um, in the summer we just get more of the molds growing on it. So we're still going down. What's this here? This is. Uh, no, that's back. Early, a little bit earlier in December, and now it's got a pretty nice mold coating all the way around, which is, uh, that's kind of, that's about how I would like it to be by the time it's ready to, ready to sell. Um, we've uh, done some analysis of the, uh, of the different, different molds. We've got some geotricum, we've got some of the uh, penicillin molds. Um, but they're all, that's all ambient, that all grows naturally. We don't, we don't do anything to encourage you know, or discourage the growth of, of any of the molds in particular down here. We, we flip the cheese regularly to keep from sticking um, and so we kind of let the, you know, let, the, let the ambient molds, let the natural molds flourish on the rinds. The one cheese that we do fuss with would be the washed rinds. In that case, we, we're giving them a bath um, pretty regularly. I can show you those if you like. Yeah, see sure. So for instance, this is the this is the drunk monk, so this is washed in beer. So you can see how that rind is, is totally orange. So rather than letting the molds grow on that, we, we put this in a little bit of beer, we take a scrub brush, and we brush off all the molds. What that does is, in addition to getting rid of the molds, it encourages uh, this coriniform surface bacteria and yeast to grow on the surface, and you get this orange color. With that comes the pungency. That's what, uh, that's what makes it a stinky cheese. Um, and, and the, the bacteria, in addition to producing the aroma, also break down the paste of the cheese from the outside in. So you, know, you can see already it's starting to give a little bit. This is actually six weeks old. So it's still got another two or three weeks before it's going to be ready to sell. But you can see how it's starting to soften up already just on the outside. And it should be, by the time it's ready, it should be fairly smooth. It's still going to be a little bit chalkier right in the center. Uh, so we're doing this, you know, with the beer in this case, we wash, uh, here are some of the wheels that we wash with the apple mark. And so that's a bigger, flatter wheel, a lot of surface area, that's the Rappelry. But again, that's gonna, uh, that's gonna ripen up from the outside in. It's gonna ripen a little quicker because it's more Because it's more surface area, it tends to ripen a little bit quicker. Yep, absolutely. Uh, we're doing some with wine. You can see, uh, hey, from Mark, the, Mark? Yeah. Does the, uh, the things you wash with have any soles in them? Well, the hooligan we wash it with, with brine. The others, the others now. The others are just yeah. the uh, okay. right. So there's the wine again. You can see some of the grape skins on the surface of the wine meal. So that's the idea. These are the only ones then that we really don't let the molds grow naturally. Uh, and, the, and the reason is because we need that surface bacteria. We need those yeast growing. So we gotta we have to keep them wet. Mm -hmm. So. Cool.